Okay. So we are going to take a look at the next uh, kind of projectile motion. Uh, and this is when you have an object that is starting at some other height or landing at some other height. So, so far this is what we've done. We've done full parabola. Okay. We've done full parabola. Number two, we've done half parabola. Okay. Here we had VI going upward and positive and acceleration going downward and negative. Here we had um, VI is going downward and positive and acceleration is going downward and positive. Okay. And the third scenario is when you have the following situation. And delta Y, by the way, is also positive in this situation. Okay. The third scenario is when you have something like this. So imagine you're on the top of a building and then you throw a ball at it some angle like so. Okay. Then you're going to have max height. Okay, and you're going to have your range right here, and this is some other height. Other height. Now, um, every time we do this question, this height there, delta y, will always be negative. See here again, velocity is going up and positive. Acceleration is going down and negative, and delta y is negative. This delta y right here, the height that we start from. So this is the height that we start from. Okay. And then um, we have the last situation, which is very similar to the third one. And in that, we are looking at, we are looking at an object that starts like so and ends up on some other height. So imagine you throw a ball and ends up on the roof of a house, for example. Okay. So that will be your delta y right here. This is your maximum height. This is delta y some other height, okay, that you're going to end up on. Again, your vi is going upward and positive. Acceleration is going down and negative. And some other height is positive. This is height you end up on. Height you end up on is positive okay so uh, these are the four situations we're gonna most likely see are there gonna be others that could happen yes absolutely of course okay there could be others that are more complex than this and that don't fit in these four criterias could happen so I want you to be ready but the process to do them is exactly the same so hopefully you understand that okay Okay, so let's do an example. Okay, so this is uh, sample problem number two, page 80 in your textbook. And the question is as follows. So you've got a cliff of some kind and the person... Okay, a golfer is trying to imp uh, improve the range of her shot. To do so, she drives a golf ball from the top of a st steep cliff. So this is 30 meters. This is delta Y, 30 meters. And your golf ball does this motion. Max height. Okay, and what is given to us? Uh, so delta Y is 30 meters. Now remember this is negative. We're going to make this negative. Um, where the ball will land, if the ball has an initial velocity, so VI is 25 meters per second and is launched at an angle of 50 degrees. So this right here is 50 degrees. Okay. <clears throat> the things that we need to take a look at or find out, time of flight. Okay, number one, max height. Okay, range and velocity on impact. So this is going to take us some, some time to solve this question.
okay the textbook does not go tell you to ask you to or ask you to do all of this but uh, why not okay so first things first we're gonna start with VI divided into its component parts VIX and VIY this is 50 okay this is 25 so VIX of course as we know comes from cos which is cos 50 which equals to adjacent which is VIX over VI correct so I just joined all of it together so VIX equals to 25 times uh, cos of 50 correct what do you get for your VIX how much 16.1 meters per second your VIY since this is cos this is going to be sine so sine 50 which equals to VIY divided by VI and uh, we're gonna write that down so that's gonna be 25 times the sine of 50 okay yeah okay so got my VIX my VIY first part of the question is done now let's take a look at figuring out my next part what did what do you think I should do next what do I have to figure out next my time okay and to do my time again we're gonna do exactly the same formula that we've been doing all this time which is Delta Y which equals to VI YT plus half a T squared now remember the Delta Y was negative okay so this is negative 30 meters now VI Y is 19.2 times T do not round it up otherwise you're gonna get a wrong answer at the end okay or an incorrect answer plus half times negative 9.8 times t squared okay negative 30 meters which equals to 19.2 t minus 4.9 t squared what do I do next what do you think what should I do next yeah that's correct so we're gonna put it into the ex squared plus bx plus c format okay you've done this before so we're gonna write it down negative 4.9 t squared plus 19.2 t plus 30 which equals to zero I brought the 30 over okay now what do I do yeah Quad quadratic equation that's correct so negative B plus minus B squared minus 4 AC divided by 2 a okay negative B is negative 19.2 plus minus 19.2 squared minus 4 times negative 4.9 times 30 divided by 2 times negative 4.9 you're gonna get two T's T1 and T2 so what do you get by the way some of you try to uh, negative 1.197 yeah and 5 point 5.12 seconds okay so I'm gonna use of course my positive root right here okay not gonna use this one All right, so now that we've found our time, the, the next thing that we're going to do, part B of the question, is find my range, delta x, which equals to vix times t. You see the process, no matter how you do it or what you do, it's exactly the same. It's just repeating over and over again. Okay, so 16.1 meters per second times 5.12 seconds. What is your range? eighty two point okay so eighty two point four meters <clears throat> second part of the question 
Okay. And lastly, we're going to talk about, can I erase this right here? Can I erase this? <clears throat> okay, so part C of the question as we talked about yesterday is, or I should say is uh, the maximum height. So we're going to do VF squared or VFY squared, which equals to VIY squared plus 2A delta Y. Now VFY, of course, is zero at the top of its motion, correct? VIY was 19.2 squared plus 2 times negative 9.8 times delta Y. This is maximum height. So this becomes 368.6 minus 19.6 delta Y. Bring it over, 19.6 delta Y, which equals to 368.6. Delta Y equals to divided by 19.6. What is your delta Y? Okay, Eighteen point eight <clears throat> meters. This is how high my object, my ball, will go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The last part of the question asks us: With what velocity will this object hit the ground? With what velocity will this object hit the ground? So to figure out my velocity, we said that. If my velocity is something like this, this is your VFX, this is your VFY, okay, this will be your angle. So to figure out my velocity, we know that VIX equals to your VFX, so that is going to stay the same, 16.1 meters per second, correct? However, we need to figure out my VFY, and to figure out my VFY, we did the same thing yesterday, a times T plus VIY, which equals to VFY. So your VFY, which equals to negative 9.8 times, oh, I took off the time. What time was it? 5.12 seconds. So 5.12 seconds plus your VIY of 19.2. What do you get for your VFY? Okay, so there's your VFY, okay, there is your VF, and there is our 